Hey everyone, BrickLover18 here today, and in this video I'm going to take a look at Studs Series 1 Building Trading Cards. I have a few packs to open up here today, and I'm really excited to check these out. I'm not going to lie, I don't know too much about the Studs Building Cards, other than the fact that their website is BrickStuds.com and there's 8 trading cards per pack. I've been wanting to take a look at these now, so I picked these up at Philly BrickFest, and I'm just really excited to open them up and see what kind of quality the cards are and see what they have to offer. The first card here, there's nothing really too special about it. On the front it just says 5 and it looks like step number 5 of a building instruction and on the back it just looks like a golf ball or something like that. This next card here is actually really cool. At first I thought it was a duck but now I realize it's a spray paint can with the paint you know, coming right out of the can and dripping down the wall. That's very neat. On the back again more builder information and this builder is Gary McTire. This next card here showcases a very nice looking Japanese house, Japanese compound with some guards at the front gate and just really nice roof structures on that house and the builder here is not even going to be tried to pronounce. The next one here is this blue Hawaiian car, very neat here, I really like that palm tree and the back is Lino Martins. This card here is not a build, it's more of an animation done by whoever. It's Iron Man with Spider-Man and Thor I think it is as well as some person in a jet. On the back here it just says Paul Lee, and Paul Lee's an illustrator, I believe I've heard of him before. This card here is one of Nathan Suez's, I think, the brick artist, his artwork here. Very nice looking one, and as you can see on the back it does say Nathan Suez, how you say his name. The next card here is pretty cool, it looks like a little train on the front, and when you turn it around it's got the information about the builder, who is Tim Gold. Ghoul? Gold. And this final card here is a bunch of different mechs, which is pretty cool. I'm not too much into mechs, but still pretty neat. And the builder here is, again, not going to be pronounced. I am horrible with names. So in the first card I got in this pack here is this race car looking thing. Very neat, a lot of unique looking pieces. The builder of it is Cole Blocko coal block and there's really not too much information about him. This next one here is this life-size Tyrannosaurus Rex. That looks really awesome and the builder here, oh it's Nathan Suez. I did not know that he built that. Very, very cool. This next one here is just like a brick journal issue and we're kind of looking at what's inside this brick journal issue. Obviously it's by brick journal. The next one here is the very first duplicate that I have got in the whole pack so far. It is number five of the building steps so now I have two number fives but no other number. This next card here is definitely a, Na a Nathan Brick Artist build. Very cool, it's kind of like the Mr. Yellow, but he's not yellow, he's blue. It's actually kind of neat because the different biography on the back of each one of his cards is a little different. This next card here actually has the book Lego A Love Story and that's actually pretty cool because I bought this book while I was at Philly Brickfest. So now I have the card for this book as well as the book and when you turn it on here it says Lego A Love Story and a biography probably about the author or something like that. It looks like we got a bonus card here, this little classic red spaceman. It's a lot smaller than all the other cards, but still very neat. And on the back, it's got the actual back of the spaceman. Very, very cool. This next card here is a scorpion. It's kind of creepy looking. I mean, the builder did an excellent job with their part selection and things like that, but I'm just not really a fan of insects. On the back here, his name is Norbert, and you can just kind of read his profile. Finally, this very last card here is this really cool, I really like this build, it is a notebook with a pencil and I think it's very unique, as you can see it's all made of Lego and they did use some really unique pieces to really capture this look, and the back here it is Bruce Lowell. Well, it looks like this video is long enough, but I still do have two studs series 1 packs left to open, so let me know down in the comments below if you just want me to open these up in another video and kind of do the same format as this one, or if I should just open them up on my own time because it wasn't worthy of another video. Let me know down below and I look forward to reading your responses. To be quite honest, overall I'm very impressed with these stud trading cards. Uh, the fact that I've already opened two packs and have only gotten one duplicate card I think is pretty good. I was afraid I would get multiple duplicates, but I'm pretty happy with that 
respect so far. The building of biographies, I haven't really read them yet, but they look pretty cool and pretty informative. They look like pretty good quality cards with heavy duty paper, so I'm really excited just to check these out and put them in a binder to see how they look. I think they have a lot of different unique builds. Some of the photography skills on each photo could use a little work. Some are very well done and others look like somebody took it on their cell phone, but I think they're improving and if they ever do come out with a Series 2, they'll probably work on fixing that. Overall, I'm very impressed with the cards and I definitely recommend picking them up for $3. Thanks everybody so much, I really hope you enjoyed these opening up of these studs trading cards. They're pretty cool cards and I actually can't wait to open these last two packs.